Hey, I'm Emily and usually I travel in my van with my husband Danny, my cat Graham, and my dog Sombrita. But this time it's just going to be me, Sombrita, and Graham because unfortunately Danny had to head back to the US for his grandma's funeral. The last time I was on my own I just stayed at a campground the whole time and this time I'm not feeling it. I'm super tired of this city. I'm hoping to go a bit north to Portillo to ski and maybe hit a hike with the pets. Let's head up to the mountains together. You wanna drive, baby? All right, Sombrita, take us up. No sleeping on the job. So I am finally out of the city and that crazy driving. It was like six or seven exits, but wow, driving in Santiago, is so hard and it's even harder when I don't have a navigator sitting next to me and being and helping me like is this the turn is this the turn uh. so <laughs> I did make all the turns though we're stopping here for a second so that the van fan can shut off it can take a break hopefully it'll shut off in a minute Just shut off. Okay, vamos! Oh no, the road is blocked by a huge thing of snow. There's no way we're getting past this. Well, I love this spot that we found here. Even though this the road was blocked by snow, I just decided to turn around and camp right next to kind of the snow block. I turned around, which is something that we always do whenever we're in a wild campsite is to make sure that we have easy access to leave so if I needed to leave very quickly I have my driver's side seat still facing forward and I can just close the door and head out but I love this spot it's such a beautiful place over here Sambrita has just been running it around in the snow which she loves Graham is enjoying his outside time but also staying super close to me we didn't plan on, you know, Danny leaving or anything like that. So I, we weren't going to go to Portillo at all. So I decided that I'll come over here, but I was going to do a hike that's down this road in a park up to a glacier. And I saw that someone else did it in June, but they must have not had a lot of snow yet. I guess this is not the right time to be hiking. <laughs> you are just the best. He's just following me around, but I am definitely gonna go skiing. I read on Nyoverlander that you can't stay there for very long in the van, like maybe only one night. So I might only get one night, but one night does mean two days. So this is a cool little road trip I'm taking myself and I'm glad I got out here instead of just waiting in the city. So our friend that we went skiing with the first time we went up um, on my birthday in El Colorado, he gifted us this wax and it's for all temperature. His friend actually owns the store. I'll show you how I've been using it on my snowboard. I think I'm more used to, at this point, a little bit deeper snow, especially out of bounds. I, I guess I haven't been paying attention a lot if i looking for rocks, so I did mess up my board a little bit. I'm just trying to make the bottom of the board a little bit more smooth. Well, I'm gonna head up to Portillo early, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, I'm already dressed up for the ski mountain, so I made myself a veggie egg burrito with green chilies that Danny's parents brought from the US. I love hatch green chilies, so I've been eating them with basically everything. <laughs> of course they were the canned ones because you can't really take the real ones through security. Oh man, yeah, last night I didn't sleep very well. I think it was mostly because Danny's plane was delayed so much that he left yesterday at 8 o'clock and he didn't get to Spokane until last night at midnight. A really, really long time he's been traveling and I guess I was kind of worried about him. So it wasn't terrible, but yeah, I'm gonna head over to Portillo soon. This veggie egg is made out of garbanzo bean flour. The garbanzo bean flour is all right, but I really prefer just egg that they have in the US. They just don't have it here. That one's the best. This one's all right though. It has protein and it tastes good, especially with green chili, so I'm just gonna eat it anyways. <laughs> Let's get to the ski mountain. Just pass. 
past curve 10 going up this hill. It's, I really like how they number the curves. This road is absolutely insane on my Google Maps. Uh, I didn't mention it before, but I am literally a stone's throw away from Argentina. We'll be able to see Argentina from this ski mountain. So all of these trucks are coming from Argentina, probably to Santiago. And yeah, this is like a major trade route right here going up to Portillo. <laughs> so I am like, I've only seen one other personal car and I'm not even a personal car. Like, you know, I'm a big old van. So it's pretty funny that I'm just surrounded by 200 trucks going up this really crazy curvy road. So right here, you can see that the run, this is a, this is a part of the ski area and the run goes over this tunnel and there's a chairlift. It's groomed. Oh, cool. So yeah, maybe I'll able to do that. Go all the way down this long, long run. There's definitely no fresh snow. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens. We'll see how the conditions are up here. We're coming up on the ski lift again that goes all the way down this huge hill. But as you can see, the snow isn't very good here. So I'm not sure how it's gonna be getting down that. I really don't want to be riding over a bunch of rocks or having to walk at all. Wow, this might be the most beautiful ski resort I have ever seen. Snow, it does, it looks pretty good. I mean, there are obvious rocks. Right next to these obvious rocks, there's not so obvious rocks, so I might not divert from the corduroy. And here at Portillo is the famous four-person button that just really sends it up this hill. Oh, what do you think made those little marks? Little bunny. I decided to start where we could see the lake. I don't know if I'll be able to see the lake over here and I thought that is one of the reasons I'm here. It's just, just a beautiful view of the lake. So <sighs> yeah, let's see what it's like over on this side. It looks a little bit bigger, a little bit more coverage, but honestly kind of hard to get from one side to the other. I'm not quite sure why there's no signs. Yeah, a little bit disorganized. Still just happy to be skiing. I mean, the view makes up for everything. I think you can do a lot, a lot of out of bounds. The lifts take you to places that you can leave. Yeah, let's try out this side. Check out the view from up here. It's so weird snowboarding by myself. I'm just like doing laps. I don't have to wait or like, oh, do you want to go this way or that way? It's just like me by myself. Like, all right, let's do two lifts on that one, two lifts on this one. And I'm almost done every lift here. <laughs> so maybe I'll be lapping this one. It's pretty awesome. And there's the Argentinian border just right there. It's crazy how close I am. I could just hop on into another country right this second. Ooh, that felt really good. My favorite run yet, so I think I'll loop this a couple of times. Super fun checking out this mountain with you guys. And there's just, just trucks trying to go to Argentina. Well, I took some burrito out real quick and I was able to chat with Danny for a second to say hello to some aunts and uncles. Now I'm gonna have some lunch here. There's a ton of people on foot rolling up, so I'm kind of happy that I took a break for a while. I'm having some pesto pasta with soy chicken, almonds, and walnuts. Oh, I also put more green chilies in it, of course. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's been an awesome day here. I decided to sleep in quite a bit because then I could get a half day pass. The half day pass ended up being 33,000 pesos, 
the normal price is 41 so I started at noon it's okay to go later in the day because then the Sun can hit the snow for a little bit longer and mush it up a bit I'm glad I slept in because when I was wild camping out there I didn't really get that much sleep I got to catch up on sleep and I made a friend she was actually camping right next to me in the parking lot you guys won't believe this she's from so can where Danny's from even weirder is that we have a mutual friend that we met in the Galapagos that she met while she was in Alaska it's a very small mountain so it's easily explorable pretty quick and I decided to call it quits after four hours. Figured I would let somebody out, go for a walk with her. It's been super fun hanging out with a new friend. She has friends here that she also met in Alaska. Over on Danny's front, I did get to watch the funeral on Zoom. He is actually staying longer than we thought because one of the ceremonies got moved, which is good because then he can do everything he needs to make him, to help himself feel better. This um, ski mountain is kind of different. It's got a huge, beautiful, expensive, and always booked up hotel. There's no condos or anything around it. It's really just hotel guests that are here. Come from the day from Santiago, super far. So you would still have to stay in a nearby town. So because of it being really just a hotel with a ski mountain, <laughs> they don't really like vans. It costs so much to stay here and they want us to pay to stay here. I already had to move once because they were like, oh, the owner doesn't like to see you guys sleep in hell front. Usually they say like, you can't sleep here because we have to plow or something like that. Not like, you can't stay here because we want you to pay. <laughs> it's just such an amazing view here. So I'm gonna pack up the van. I'm heading to Annie's friends with her, so that'll be fun. And um, let's see what Danny's doing. Well, you know, I'm up here in the States for a bit of a sad reason, a family event. I was able to bring the bike though, and I just was able to hit my favorite skate park in the world here. Hilliard Skate Park, Spokane, Washington. Check out a couple of clips here. That was a sick little sesh. So awesome to see this whole other part of skiing. It's really inspired me to try Bath Country. But first, I'll have to take a safety course. Uh, I don't really know why I haven't tried it before. I really love hiking and I love skiing, so naturally it should be a new hobby for me. Sombrita is so confused why the gang all split up.